メラメラ、皆さん。Hmm, one of the best things in GNOME 44 is definitely the new background app's context on shell, but it's also the most annoying thing ever. In universe, and beyond, let me explain to you, maybe? First of all, if we open the shell menu, and next the background apps, we'll see that the app list is now activatable, which means it's now possible to bring the apps on focus. That was super unfortunate, it wasn't ready for 44 release, and I'm not sure if they will cherry pick it, or if distros downstream it. The patches are here for GNOME 45 though, and moreover, it is now tracking the apps and not their instances, so we won't get multiple entries. Back to Pika Backup. I don't understand why the app even starts in background when there is none backup scheduled. And it only gets worse from here, cause when we close it, it keeps running. And if we quit it from shell menu, it still keeps running. Perhaps that's a bug, but does anyone know what happens if we quit a background app that runs some long running process? This feature really puts so much uncertainty, which reminds me the biggest annoyance of everything. Right below the background app's header, there is this string saying, apps known to be running without a window. The general idea was to let people know that here will be displayed only the Flatpak apps. Of course, the explanation is totally meaningless if you ain't already know the issue. And instead, you're forced to watch this super ugly text every freaking time. Meanwhile, there was a long discussion on how to address the issue, and after much of drama, they ended up with the very worst solution. Literally, all they had to do was to add an info icon that could open the web or the GNOME help, and it would actually explain to us what's going on. Anyway, that was something was driving me nuts since day one, and I was always wanted to share. Oh, if you never seen that string, it's only because your distro patches it out. Anywho, it's time for death metal. I'm a